So this is the uh, Troma booth at uh, Dragon Con in Atlanta, one of the many uh, 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 conventions of pop art, science fiction, horror, movies, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's Comic Con in San Diego, there is Mega Con in Orlando, there is even Genghis Con in uh, Pittsburgh. And um, these are ways for independent filmmakers to market uh, both their movies as well as to get some publicity. Have flyers and other informational goodies handy to promote your film. Who's your filmmakers here? Hi. Well, I see there's a camera. Wow. So what, what do you got there? What are you promoting? We are promoting our Middle Earth Idol film, and we're promoting all the stuff we want people to like, go on our site and check out our stuff, marsproductions.net. How old are you? I'm 15. Wow, and how old is your associate? Uh, 17. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I found out you were 15, but yeah. nonetheless, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you and your sister this beautiful uh, $25 value, the Tromeo and Julia DVD. Oh. This year we're using the conventions to uh, publicize uh, Poultry Geist. We've got this excellent uh, preview uh, DVD of, um, of Poultry Geist. Also, we've got some Poultry Geist leaflets around the convention just to get the title into people's minds. Try to get your film screened at conventions. Volunteer to get some very valuable real estate at conventions. For you as a filmmaker, these conventions can be an excellent opportunity to sell your movies. If you're making uh, no-budget films, you can sell a meaningful number of DVDs at these conventions. We've got volunteers, who um, are trauma volunteers, who enjoy this uh, subculture and are willing to, um, to man our booths and uh, sell our DVDs. And um, if they want to sell stuff, we let them sell stuff. Um, how many years have you volunteered to be in the Troma booth? I think this is uh, six I've been. Now, why do you volunteer for the Troma booth at Comic-Con? Lloyd's always been very uh, helpful to me, being an independent filmmaker. And in fact, he lets me sell my movies in the booth. I made my own damn movie, Come Get Some, and I had some copies here and I sold out at DragonCon. Give time to your fans and convention goers in order to gain support for your projects. Also, there are a number of um, sort of cult uh, celebrities that go to these conventions, and they charge for their um, they charge the fans for their autographs. I don't uh, sell my autographs. Of course, I'm not as uh, successful uh, or as famous as uh, Jason from uh, uh, Friday the 13th, Part 82, but. But uh, I give my autographs for free. Here you are, Sean. Now, uh, let me take this home, read it, and if you could put a review up on Amazon.com to say how much you liked it, and then talk about Toxic Avenger, the novel, okay? Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Take advantage of panels. If you get on one, be creative and have fun with it. Uh -huh. So this is uh, Fangoria. In uh, 2006, Fangoria, New Jersey, and uh, I'm about to have some stage time. Uh, Fangoria Magazine uh, runs this convention, and uh, it's an opportunity to promote Poultry Geist without uh, spending a lot of money. It gets to our core audience. Uh, the only problem is that uh, Troma, the Poultry Geist uh, stage time, as they call it, is uh, first thing in the morning. But when you're an independent filmmaker and uh, you don't spend too much on advertising, or you don't spend anything on advertising, we're, we're grateful for any any kind of attention we can get from the uh, media. So we got an exciting day planned for you. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to be bringing out the king of Tromaville, Lloyd Kaufman himself. Right, Amy? Thank you, everybody. We have with us some of the amazing people who are behind the, in front of the camera, behind the cameras of the wonderful new film coming up from Troma called Poultry Guys. I would like to present some of the actors and crew who worked on Poultry Guys. Uh, very spontaneous. Uh, they just kind of, we just, this is sort of a last minute thing. Just to tell us your true feelings. Oh, um, how awkward and surprising. I wish I had prepared um, remarks for this special occasion. Well, com completely off the top of my head, I, I can say that this man sitting next to me... It says sitting. Go on, go on, go on. Standing next to me 
point to Lloyd, <laughs> he is the greatest filmmaker of all time. Yeah. In closing, make sure your audience knows that you are serious about your cinema. One of the great things about Poltergeist and about Choma is we call ourselves the Choma team. And we're all free and we're all open. And we really need you, the, the fans of Choma and the fans of independent cinema, to go out and talk to your, to your um, cinemas and tell them that this is a 35 millimeter movie. We've taken almost two years to, to bring this movie to your attention. We've reshot stuff because I'm incompetent. I mean, we, we've reshot stuff because, uh, uh, you know, we're serious about our movies. We don't take ourselves seriously, but we take our movies very seriously.